If you don't make it to the front immediately in a rallycross race, you're stuck behind in one hell of a battle. So far this season, Team Hansen just didn't have the speed to make it to the front. So there's nothing left but to fight. After four rounds in Sweden and Finland, the World Rallycross Championship arrives in Latvia. I think this event is very important for Rallycross as it's really the only place where we are basically in the town of a capital in the country. So it's an amazing event and you see the high buildings around the circuit. Taking place on the unique Bikernieku racetrack, it's an iconic event on the World Rallycross calendar. The circuit itself is also having walls everywhere around. It's very interesting this track to come to and it has a lot of history and it's a really a key circuit in, in the championship. It's a track that I really enjoy driving on. It's all about the little details. Everything is in fine tuning what you do lap after lap. And that's what I love to do. So uh, I'm excited to go out here. And again, we have two races this one weekend. So a lot of points on the line if we want to catch up in the championship. And there is some catching up to do for the Hansen family team. My name is Kenneth Hansen. I'm the team principal for Team Hansen. I was racing many, many years myself, and then I met Susan. I'm Susan Hansen, team manager for Team Hansen. Now we got two kids, Kevin and Timmy. Last year was really successful. We didn't really expect it to be like that when we started the season. And in the end, team championship, Timmy world champion and Kevin bronze medal in the world championship. Like a fairy tale almost. But in 2020, things are different. After four rounds, the reigning world champions are just second in the team championship, while Timmy is back and forth and Kevin fifth in the driver rankings. This season has been more tricky and more difficult. Yeah, we had a bit of a rough start of the season comparing to how we finished last year. Coming to Sweden, I was very confident, you know, I had a fantastic season in my back and I felt better than ever going into that season. But then once we got on track, there was just something missing. We just have been lacking some speed and also lacking some good starts. It was something in the car that we had changed over the winter that didn't work. That was hard. Sweden was hard, man. It was, um, it was hard. My name is Graham Rodimark. I'm head of performance at Team Hansen. My main responsibility, I guess, is to communicate between the drivers and then what happens to the cars. Try and turn that into some sort of setup change or adjustment and then let the mechanics know what they need to do. Despite countless days of testing and preparing, only the first race shows how competitive you are. A tough moment if things don't go as planned. I don't think anybody expected to be quite where we were. We knew it was a new year, a new challenge, but it was hard. For sure we're disappointed with the result by not winning and not being capable of winning there. And also it's really quickly, you know, you start to doubt yourself. Like, uh, am I really up to speed? It's been a long break. Yeah, the boys put themselves under pressure initially. Not a great start to the season when you're reigning champions. Obviously not, it's not easy. You start to question what's happened. Is it yourself? What area are you, is it going wrong? And also being a double weekend, you're double exposed to, to points. So you lose quickly the championship points. With two rounds on each weekend, you really can't afford any weak performance. With so many points on the line, you'll fall behind twice as quick, while the competition stacks up their points even faster. I'm very happy. It's been, I'm leading the championship with 17 points and I had a couple of victories and, and a couple of podiums. But not only the current leader Johan Christoffersen is a tough competitor. There's former world champion Matthias Ekström, his teammate Robin Larsen, last year's runner-up Andreas Bakkerud and many more. I think the field is very, very competitive this year. We came back, the Audi seems to be straight on pace as well. 
We expected Yuan in that car, I mean the X Factory car, to be very strong. So it's no surprise. We thought that we would be closer. We have been very close on some moments. Every now and then uh, the Hansen's been there. We need to perform better and more often. Yuan is more stable. They are right there, but still I think the start has been missing a little bit for them. So as soon as you don't get in clear air, it's very difficult to fight back from the back because the pace is so tight. He's also my friend, he's still a really good guy, but of course it's tough seeing him have that that I want. But to be honest, I want nothing less, so when I'm here, I want to be able to race against the best rallycross drivers in the world, with the best rallycross cars in the world, and that's why we're here. We spent a lot of time talking about it, a lot of time looking at all the data. We've learned a lot. We are really looking and we are trying and we have been testing. We are getting closer, but we still have some work to do. But putting things into perspective, this is World Championship Racing. And despite the tough season start, the small family team has already achieved two podium finishes. Having two podiums, bringing home after Sweden and Finland, podiums is podium. It's like, okay, we have the proof that we did something good, we are up there. It's really important to keep the driver's head in a place he knows he can be competitive and he knows he can still pull something out of the bag when it's not all going your way. Knowing that we can do it, so the podiums is really giving us energy to push harder and stronger and believing even more in ourselves and that's why we look forward to this race in Latvia. Really look forward to race tomorrow. I have a good feeling about the setup we are bringing and I feel good in myself and I feel that we are onto something. They're in a good place now here, here in Latvia. I think uh, it's going to be a different story. With lap times close to the top, the free practice is very promising. But before the racing even starts, the team already has their own first battle against the clock. Yeah, uh, after FP1, my car didn't start anymore, so the engine was dead. So in order to get out to FP2, the guys had to really work for it. It was important getting out to that uh, FP2, getting in the flow. Looking at the time sheets there, it's very close, not much time between the top guys. Now we have to put the race together. Gustavsson, we saw Prat Singh start this morning and Hansen into turn one. They both ran a bit deep on the brakes, really even start, great start. Last on the outside, Hansen gets straight yeah, so into Hansen it. Hansen now piling the pressure on after not having the best start. Timmy Hansen going to come around with Johan, going to block the inside, doesn't need to, on the gas and away. Fantastic lap from Gustavsson. Q1. We, we feel the work we've done. I was right there on the bumper with, with Johan. Not quite the edge this time to beat him with the Joker strategy, but we've taken a step forward as a team and everybody's doing a good job here. And that's what it's about. Step by step, going forward. See what he can do from the outside. Good start, Chris Dobson, good start. Kevin Hansen on the inside. Another two car wins out. He's such a calculated driver. Are they close enough? Kevin's on a flyer. Super close, Timmy squeezes extra towards the wall, they're side by side. Race after race, things run smoothly for the Hansons. Until the semi-final. After turn one, everything went wrong that could go wrong and I was in fifth place and needing to pass two cars to move into the final. That is a tough job to do in just, you know, six laps. But Timmy Hansen's actually setting the fastest laps of this race after that disaster of the first couple of corners. I managed to get enough gap to the guys behind that uh, when I took it on the last lap, we made it into P3. From being very difficult on lap one to making it to the final, that's fantastic. Chris Christopherson with a whole shot instantly. 1.4 seconds. Johan Christopherson on his final lap, wins semi two from Robin Larson and Kevin Hansen. Both of us through to the final. Now it's go time. With both cars in the final, it's the moment to prove if they manage to step things up. Oh, good start. Chris Thompson on the inside line. Kronom as well. Extra moves across to cover up Kronom behind. Kronom trying to go through the gap. There's no gap there. He has to drop back down. Last around the outside. Gets in to Chris Thompson. Gets spun round. Screen now. They're coming into the final corner. Huge jump. 
from Timmy Hansen. Who's been to be on the podium? Timmy Hansen trying to get past Ekstrom. Ekstrom's gonna get P2. Timmy Hansen beats his brother just to P3. So today was a good day. Got some silverware and Kevin just behind him fourth. Good step forward today, I think. Uh, step by step, we're coming closer and closer. Speed on the track was really good. Stars getting better, so. Tomorrow we wanna get one more step, both of us, one yeah. of these. It's about time, isn't it? For the drivers, it's about time to get some rest, while the mechanics work late to get both cars ready for round six of the championship. And things couldn't start much better for the Hansons. Kevin warm up, put the new unofficial lap record. A very nice feeling to do that. Also very surprised because you know the, the feeling was not like crazy push, so uh, very interesting. It was incredible fast on certain moments, but of course you need to be in front also in the start to be able to use that. The Hansons know they got what it takes, but now they need to put it all together when the racing is on. Longest hole we've seen all weekend, I reckon. Good start, Christopherson and Hansen on the inside. Timmy Hansen matching Christopherson down to turn one. You won't be able to turn in from yeah, there. Great first corner there. You saw him run everybody really deep. And he will get a run on Timmy towards the line. Timmy Hansen going to hug that inside line. They're gunning it for the line. It was a good start to the day. We're working so hard. Uh, we're a small team and we only have the resources we have, but we've changed some things. And, and today I took the start. It was against Christopherson and so we are taking steps forward. You know, yesterday morning, I would have been behind. Timo and Anton, great start. Timmy Hansen on the inside. They've been working on those starts. He's got away with it in the 208 mark and coming around the outside. And Timmy's surely going to hold that. Kevin goes deep. Is that a plan? Kevin Hansen slots into P2. Brilliant tactics from the Hansons. Yeah, that was fantastic, wasn't it? And Timmy backed it up on the apex of turn two to allow Kevin to come around. Oh, and that's slap. It's time we know that was good. This looks good too. The team wins two out of three qualifiers, but in the overall timings, they still lag behind. I did everything on that run. The run was close to perfect, uh, but we just just not fast enough. It's another race win, but I want more than this. So uh, we'll keep working, we'll keep fighting. It's a bittersweet evening after the race. Despite strong improvements, both cars missed the podium by a few split seconds. Riga around five and six is done. There are things that we want to do better, but in these circumstances, I don't think there is a single point more that I could have got. It was a tough weekend in many ways, but also positive. We have been more in the game, more in the fight at the top. I can't say that I'm happy with the weekend. I think we did what we could. We just lacked a little, little bit of pace and still our starts are not good enough. Meanwhile, the competition solidifies their lead. Yeah, Riga was a very good event for us. We arrive with 17-point lead and we leave with 17-point lead, so we are very happy. Johan, again, had a fantastic weekend. He's doing all the right things. He's got the pace, it's not the launch. We're just at a halfway point of the season yet, and this is Rallycross, so anything can happen. There's still a long season. I'm pretty sure they will fight back, so uh, you, you can never count out the Hansons. You need really to work harder in the hardest moment to come back on the top. It's easy to be on the top when you're winning and it's, uh, everything is satisfying. But it's harder to get back and that's where you show the team potential. I know if there's anything we can do that is fighting back. I feel this is really where you grow as a human, also as a driver and as a team. 
And with that spirit, the team already has their eyes on the next race. We have Barcelona next. We're gonna work as hard as we can. We want to go to the next race feeling like there's nothing else we could have done or thought about. So that's what's up.